Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Today I'm hanging out with Mike. And Mike has a really cool truck camper I bet you've never seen before. Yep, you may never see one again, Patrick. It's a Romer fiberglass truck camper. Before Patrick gets into a tour of the camper, just wanted to give you a little history. This was built by a company called Wesco Industries. They were a fountain company and they decided to get into truck campers. They made some fiberglass molds, and this is a fiberglass shell inside and out, kind of a split hull design. It's 10 and a half feet long, and specs say that it weighs 1,800 pounds dry, but it's definitely heavier than that. It pretty much maxed out my single rear wheel 3,500, so I'm guessing it's a good 2,500 pounds or so. That fiberglass construction is really cool. You know, it's something that you rarely see today in truck campers, but it makes that camper, you know, super strong, durable, and very easy to maintain. Thank you, Mike, for doing the intro with us. Now, I'm gonna take it from here. I'm gonna give you a tour of this fiberglass shell truck camper. When you think about fiberglass truck campers, you think about Northern Light, and for travel trailers, you think about Casita and Scamp. Oliver and escape trailers, even the Airstream Nest. This one's a split hole. So when he mentions split hole, this middle, these are two casts, one on this side and one on this side. And there's a seam down the middle that goes all the way up to the top. You can see here, it has a front acrylic window, with roof clearance lights, a cab window here. It's a slider window. It's got the shackles and hooks to clamp it down onto your truck. A refrigerator ventilation here. So that just means it has a propane absorption refrigerator. Has the Fiamma F45 manual crank out awning, large slider window here. And then these open up and you can get to the jacks. This is how you crank it up to get it off the tow vehicle. So there's one jack point here. This is the clamp for the awning. There's arms built into the awning. When you roll it out, you can clamp it right in here. Has a propane force air furnace. That looks like an Atwood furnace. So it has a 12 volt, 12 volt blower fan. There's a radio antenna up here. This is a six gallon water heater with manual ignition. You light the pilot here. And then you got the drain plug here off to the side. Down here, there's electrical outlet for outdoor use. It's got a metal step built into this fiberglass back bumper. Has automotive style rear taillights. There's a ladder that goes all the way up onto the roof. Then on the roof, you have a max air fan over the bathroom, another max air fan in the galley, air conditioning, a huge skylight, and the refrigerator ventilation system. Back down, we have the waste gates for the black tank, which is the large one, and the gray waste tank, which is a smaller one. Gray is sink and shower, black is toilet. In this compartment here, there's a 30 amp shore power connection. There's an adapter on it now that goes to a regular household electrical outlet. That way it can plug in and, and charge inside the building here. This is another jack location, a jacket and hoist it off the tow vehicle. There's another compartment for that. Another one here. And up here is one Lifeline Group 24 Series AGM battery, 80 amp hours, 40 amp hours usable. Has a potable water tank, fill it here. Has a city water connection. Then it has a single 20 pound propane tank in this compartment. This is where you hook it up to the truck's electrical. So the brake lights work on the back and there might be a 12 volt charge lead built in. Take a look at the entry door. There's another window built into the entry door. There's a porch light above and there's even an aluminum gutter rail over the entry door. Double lock, open it up. Look how thick this thing is. There's a lot of insulation between the outside and interior shell. There's a curtain on the back door. Down on the floor it has a fitted mat. This lifts up and there's a fiberglass bottom here. There's a propane furnace. Got a fire extinguisher above. 
Now, let's get the lay to land inside. Right here is the light switch, turn on and off the lights. Someone's upgraded them LED. There's a large 76 inch sofa lounge. It's like a U shape and with a removable table. It's got storage above the dinette. It's got an old cassette player stereo. That's the thermostat for the furnace. Look at this marine type latch. This is all fiberglass. It's got oak strips here, little compartments here on the door. And this is the wardrobe. And in the wardrobe is the tool to operate the awning. That's the hand crank. But it's all built like a boat. This thing is gonna last a very, very long time. Shades slide up and you got large screens that also slide. These pockets are deep enough to put some clothing in. These allow you to strap things. Maybe a television will go here and you can strap it in place. There's a 12 volt socket, a GFCI protected electrical outlet. There's even a ledge here on the top. So whatever you put up here doesn't slide off. It's a three cubic foot Dometic refrigerator. And this is manually lit. You manually push when igniting. There's one for the prime and one for the spark. You could set the thermostat here and uh, you could change the fuel from propane gas. And it looks like that's it. Unless the AC, there you go, electrics on this side. Really cool. And then there's even a built-in freezer up top. Below that, there's the battery converter charger. This converts AC to DC, charges the battery. It has all your breakers on board. Next to that, there's a compartment next to, underneath the dinette lounge that goes right over the wheel well on your tow vehicle. Now moving back, there's an electrical outlet here and another compartment here. And this dinette folds down and makes into a bed. And when you have the bed set up, there is a support here that slides out. So when this bed slides all the way out, it's hard, hard sided bottom lays on top of here so it doesn't sag. Really, really thought of all the details when they built this. Behind the dinette, there's a storage compartment built into the wall. It's got a plexiglass guard on it to allow things to stay inside when you put them there. Let's flip to this side. There's an electrical outlet next to the cooktop. There's a cover, a cutting board over the three burner cooktop. It's a propane gas cooktop with a full gas oven on board. There's a speaker below that, has accent lights here on the floor. Below the sink, lots of storage. It's all fiberglass. So if you spill anything inside there, it's not gonna rot out any wood or make any mold or mildew. And the doors are wooden with oak poles. Double stainless steel sink here. Another large window. So when you open up this, get the back door. They got another one here. You got a lot of ventilation you could put in here. Back to the kitchen. We got some drawers here. One here, one there. Another speaker, propane leak detector. What's nice is each one of them has an on and off for propane and the smoke detector. So when it's in storage, you don't have to worry about battery drain. There's a step to get into the overhead bed. This is the window that lines up with your cab and your truck. So you can pass things through. It's got little curtains here. And then over here, there's a compartment underneath a microwave. This microwave looks like it was added after market. Another GFCI protected electrical outlet, tank monitoring system for battery, fresh water, gray and black tank, water pump on and off here. Another switch here for the carbon dioxide detector, turn it on and off. A cable and 12 volt inlet over the TV. The roof is all fiberglass. So most 
truck campers have like a headliner built into it. And this is all fiberless. You can imagine if you're cooking in here, take, say you take this out on the beach and you go fishing and you cook up some fish inside, there's really nothing in here that's gonna hold and absorb the odor. This has 11,000 BTU air conditioning with electric heat strip built in. That, in order to run that, you'd have to be plugged into shore power or a portable generator. It's got a custom cut shaped mattress in the front. It's the width of a queen, but shorter than a queen. There's another electrical outlet at the foot of the bed, or maybe that's the head of the bed. The bed lifts up and you got all fiberglass underneath it. You can literally hose this thing out. It's got a huge escape hatch up top with an insect screen, two reading lights with a cubby above. Now you guys want to wonder about the bathroom. Look at the wall here. This is all fiberglass wrapped all the way around. Even the door is fiberglass. This is the regular fantastic fan with the max air cover on the roof. Let's open up the bathroom. It's double lined here. Oops. A thick door. So it's got a Thefford gravity flush toilet. It's got a furnace duct in here, storage below the sink, a sink with hot and cold water, even a medicine cabinet. Look at the curb on the door. Lots of really cool details. Even electrical outlet up top. So if you're in here and you want to use a shaver, plug in electricity, you could do so. Incandescent bulb. Shower wand removed from the wall, has a pause feature built into it. And then you can pull down the fan cover. Those are just insulated covers, why it's in storage. Close the door here. And then in the back, there's two more switches for some of the outdoor lights. I found this truck camper on Facebook Marketplace. And it's something I've never seen before and I was so super excited I drove an hour just to come visit it. Luckily we're inside, it's winter, it's freezing rain outside and he allowed us to do the video. So I want you to guess what this is listed for on Marketplace. I went through and the condition is, is top. There are some things that are a little dated like the refrigerator, the battery system, maybe the water heater. Someone could buy this and make an ultimate overland vehicle, get a super cool one ton pickup truck, put this on the back, do a little bit of updating, add some solar lithium batteries, compressor fridge, tankless water heater. This thing will last a long time. So I want you to guess in the comments what this is listed for or what you think it's worth and some of your ideas on what you would do with this. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, and subscribe. I love it. We'll see you soon.